Hey folks, welcome back to another video. All right, so you wanna play custom Beat Saber songs but can't downgrade your Beat Saber as you don't have a PC or even a powerful phone? Well, have no fear, Wackman is here. Today, I have something very special for you as we are going to go through an updated method of downgrading your Beat Saber where you don't need to actually downgrade it yourself as it's already downgraded for you. And all you have to do is put it on your quest. You know this will be awesome. So if you enjoyed the video and find it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Talking about awesome, remember my 10k special giveaway is on right now, where I will be giving away any game on the Oculus Quest store that's in the top selling section. And the winner gets to choose which game they want. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, put on bell notifications and comment hashtag wackman 10 k down below. The giveaway will end next month, so make sure you're in it to win it. Well, let's get straight into the video. Now, for this method, you will need an Android phone and a cable to connect your Quest, as well as developer mode activated on both your Quest and your phone. I've got a video in the description that should help you get that if you haven't already got it. Now, I'm going to show you the easiest and best method possible, with very little chance of getting it wrong. But you need to listen to what I'm saying and do it exactly. Now, for this, we will need to install CX File Explorer on your Quest. And for my awesome viewers that have already watched my previous videos and have already installed this, just skip to the timestamp on screen as it's literally going to take you 2 minutes to do this. For everyone else, keep watching to get CX File Explorer on your Quest. Go on to the Play Store and download and install an app called CX File Explorer. I chose this because it's free without any ads, but others work as well. Step 2. Download and install the Bug Yeager app if you haven't already. Also, please note that you need to have developer mode activated for this to work. I've linked a video in the description that might help you through the process. Ok now, connect your phone to your Oculus Quest using a cable. I've linked an all-in-one adapter in the description if you don't have a phone with a USB-C port, as you can use the charging cable that came with the headset for this. Once you have connected the phone to the Quest, make sure you press allow in the headset. If nothing pops up, restart both your phone and your headset, then try again. Once you press allow, then open up the Bug Yeager app. Another pop-up may appear asking you to allow debugging if you haven't previously accepted that. Next, make sure you're on the Packages tab in the Bug Yeager app. A lot of people are on the wrong tab so it doesn't work for them. Then press the plus icon at the top and press select from installed apps. Find the CX File Explorer app you installed and install it on your Quest. When it's done installing, that's it. You won't need your phone ever again. You can now disconnect the cable. Ok, now you have it on your Quest, this will allow you to install any APK directly in the headset. The next thing we need to do is get the downgraded APK for Beat Saber. So, go into your Quest and click on Applications, then Browser, then go to Oculus.com and log into your account. This step is important to verify you have bought the game, otherwise it won't work. Once you've logged into Oculus, then go to BSLegacy.com. Then on the far right, hover over where it says Quest Downgrader and then click on Oculus APK Download. Once on there, scroll down to version 1.13.2 and click on it. That should automatically verify that you have purchased Beat Saber on Oculus and then start the APK download. Once the download has finished, we simply need to install it on our Quest. First, make sure your Beat Saber has actually been uninstalled. Then go into Applications, go into Unknown Sources, click on CX File Explorer click on Downloads, then click on Beat Saber APK and install it. Once it has finished installing, go back into Applications and voila, there you have it, your Beat Saber all downgraded for you. When you launch it, just make sure not to press Update, otherwise you'll have to uninstall it and then reinstall it again using this method. But now, you can use all of the Beat Saber mods again. Kudos to the people at Beat Saber Legacy for creating this. If you want to know how to add custom songs, custom sabers or make your own custom songs in 2 minutes, then check the description below as I have a full list of everything you could ever want. Well, that's all folks. I told you it would be easy. I hope this video has helped you. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also remember to enter the giveaway. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day, stay safe and see you next time.